Hello, I'm Ranger Jeremy Hulse, and welcome to the fourth episode of our five-part series, Maple Mondays. We will be releasing a short video every Monday in March as part of the first ever virtual maple syrup festival, organized by the Friends of Cunningham Falls and Gambrel State Parks. In this episode, we're going to finish off our maple sap oil and learn how to store the newly made syrup. There are three main methods that you can use to determine when the evaporation process is finished. Temperature, sugar content, and viscosity. Tree sap is mostly water, which boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But as water evaporates, the sugar content rises. So does its boiling temperature. When the thermometer reaches 219 degrees, we've hit our mark. It's time to remove our cooking vessel from the heat source, because if it gets any hotter, our syrup will scorch. Another indicator is sugar content and density, and for that, we would use a hydrometer. It should have a hot syrup line and a cold syrup line, because the temperature of the sap or syrup will affect the reading. To take a measurement, we carefully fill a specialized test cup with hot syrup until it is between 1 and 2 inches from the top. Then place a cup on the level surface. Then, slowly lower the hydrometer into that test cup until it is floating on the syrup or gently resting on the bottom. At the same time, insert a thermometer into that test cup as well. At roughly 211 degrees Fahrenheit, your hydrometer should float at or close to the hot syrup line, indicating the correct density and sugar content, about 66%. A more simple method and our favorite to use is to check the viscosity of the syrup. We would scoop up a ladleful and quickly pour it back into the kettle. Then hold the now empty ladle upside down into the cool air. If the syrup drips down like water, it needs more time. If things are just right, we would get a caramel-colored ring of syrup hanging from the rim. It's called the crystalline curtain. Once the evaporation process is complete, we pour the hot syrup through a metal strainer lined with cheesecloth and let it drip into a food-safe container. Then, while it's still hot, we transfer the syrup into sterile mason jars, close them with a fresh lid and ring, and place them upside down on a flat surface and leave them undisturbed until you hear them pop. Once jarred, syrup can last up to two years at room temperature, and it can last up to 10 years or more if refrigerated. Thanks for joining us. Proceeds from our annual Maple Syrup Festival support our nonprofit partners as well as local maple syrup producers. Please visit CunninghamGambrel.org where you can find more information about the festival and shop for local made syrup and other maple products. In the next episode, we'll wrap things up by sharing our recipe for perfect pancakes. So stay tuned and we'll see you on our next Maple Monday.